This is the seven minute solo BJJ workout that's going to incorporate seven BJJ movements that I'm going to want you to complete in seven days. If you can do this for straight seven days, you're going to see an increase in your mobility, your stamina, and you're also going to get a good workout. These are all basic BJJ movements. And what's going to happen is I'm going to show you a 20 second demonstration. Then it's going to roll into the technique. And you're going to have one minute to complete it. 10 seconds before the end of time, you'll get a little warning and then it'll move on to the next exercise. The first exercise are knee wipers. What you're going to do is you're going to have your feet a little more than shoulder width apart. The weight's going to be carried on the back of your hands. You're going to be sitting on your butt. And you're just going to be moving your legs from side to side to side. I want your hips to be just nice and relaxed and not fast. Time is about to start. Let's start working it out. All right, so as we're moving this exercise, I want you to just kind of pivot in place. Don't make it fast. Just do it nice and steady. We're just trying to loosen up our hips as we're making this movement from side to side. And as we're moving it, be very deliberate with just moving your hips, right? Because jiu-jitsu is very important to have loose hips in all our techniques, all the movements that we do. So we're just moving left to right, side to side. You should feel a nice little stretch in your back as well as you're doing this movement. And then most importantly, on your hips. This is one of my favorite techniques to do before class. Uh, before as part of my warm-up or before we actually start warm-ups is just to kind of get everything going and everything loosened up so we're about to roll into our 10 second mark for uh, notification which you're gonna hear these three rings that tells you you got 10 seconds left so let's go and finish it out nice and strong five more seconds and we're gonna get ready to move on to the next exercise alright so this is the S mount switch so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in that S mount position right leg to the rear left leg to the front and all you're going to do is just kind of pivot on your butt from left to right back and forth leaning forward to kind of get that stretch in that hip you should feel that nice in your hip keep your core nice and tight as you're doing this this movement should your core should be nice and tight you should feel it in your abs and a majority of these movements I want you to just kind of keep your abs nice and tight or your core nice and tight uh, that's a very important piece in jiu-jitsu that'll save your back if you have a nice strong abs so same thing just move it back and forth and feel that stretch in the hips as you're moving forward and back right and this is going to help you with that s mount position when we're sitting on in mount and we're trying to get to that arm bar position we're scooping up the arms and we're kicking up our legs and we're moving to that s mount position let's go ahead and just keep rotating your hips left to right back and forth leaning forward nice and relaxed make sure you're breathing keep your core tight the whole time that you're doing this i guarantee if your core is tight that'll start strengthening up your back as well all right we're 10 seconds in let's get ready to move on to the next exercise five more seconds keep going let's finish it out and we're going to technical stand up so this is technical stand up so your opposite hand or your opposite leg you've never done this so your left hand is going to be on the mat and your right leg is going to be on the mat and that's what's lifting your hips off the ground right left hand right leg and then you're going to scoop your leg back and then stand up and then we're going to go to the opposite side right hand is going to be down left leg is going to be on the mat lifting our butts off the mat and then kicking our leg back right so we're just going to do this both left and right as we're getting in this position kind of keep your hips low as well this is also kind of a good hip stretcher and this this technique is, is difficult if you if you don't have loose hips or if you have uh, issues with mobility on your hips do the best you can this is a very important uh, basic self-defense position that we should all have learned as white belts it basically teaches us how to safely get off the ground if we're on our butts and we're trying to get back on the ground up off the ground after being attacked or being pushed or whatever the case may be so this is basic fundamental jiu-jitsu that everyone should know uh, if you're if you're feeling motivated you can add a little kick in there just imagine that someone's in front of you you're kicking the knee to create some space and you're standing up so if you're feeling highly motivated or if you're a little more technical feel free to add that kick in there all right so we got five more seconds let's keep going almost done and then we're getting ready to move on to our next technique all right, so we're doing sit outs. So what you're going to do is you're going to get on all fours like you're about to do a bear crawl. You're going to be up on your hands and up on your toes. What I want you to do is you're going to bring your opposite foot to your opposite hand, right? So you're basically going cross. So your right foot is going to go where your left hand was at. Your left foot is going to go where your right hand was at. So you're basically shooting to that position. So as you're shooting this sit out, what I want you to do is sit on your, feel free to sit on your butt and look straight up to the ceiling. 
And then I also want you to throw that elbow back as we're going to that position. So what the, where the sit-out comes into play is if we're caught in the bottom turtle position and we have someone sitting in our north-south on top of us, uh, kind of putting pressure weight on top of us, this allows us to shook them off of our back. And if we're fast enough, we can also take the back from this position. So this is kind of a basic sit-out. So once again, opposite hand to our opposite uh, or excuse me, our opposite foot to our opposite hand as we're sitting on our butt, throw your elbow back and look at the ceiling, right? Throw that elbow back and look at the ceiling because that, that head popping back is going to be part of how you get out from underneath that individual to create that space. And, that's, and that elbow also pushes them off. And if you sometimes if you do this fast enough, you'll make the person slam their face into the mat. So almost done. All right, let's move to the next one. This is gorilla hops. This is good for opening up our hips, right? So whenever we're passing someone's guard, we want to, we always want to be back on our hips instead of uh, head forward. We want our hips back. So this is a good hip stretcher. So this is pretty self-explanatory. You're going to use your knuckles on the mat, and we're just going to move from left to right and right to left as we're going through this position. Left to right, right to left. If you're feeling highly motivated, you can go in a complete circle all the way around. Get back to your starting point and go back the other direction if you want to or you can do just like me and just go one direction center and go the other direction back and forth nice and relaxed feel those hips get those hips nice and loose loose hips in jiu-jitsu is very important so just keep kind of working it left to right make sure you're breathing you should be sweating by now i was i was sweating pretty profusely by this time as we we're doing this exercise so keep going back and forth back and forth putting the weight on your hands to help transition to the side. My pace in these videos is pretty slow. If you're feeling highly motivated or you're much quicker, feel free to move through these much faster. I'm just doing these at a nice moderate pace for you to see how I'm doing it. But feel free to pick it up as you progress through this and you've done this on your second, your third, your fourth, maybe your fifth time. Feel free to go fast with these. So this is basic shrimp in place, right? So when we shrimp in place, I want you to have your hips off the ground. I want your head off the mat, All right? The less the less we have dragging on the mat, the better your shrimp is going to be. So we're popping our hips up, and I want you to imagine your hands are extending because we're pushing away from our opponent, right? So the basic shrimp is how we escape from our opponents that are on top of us. So I want you to imagine you have an opponent or someone who's on top of you. You're clearing your hips. And you're using your hands to kind of push and create space or push away from them. Keep your head off the mat. This is going to help you build strength on your neck as well. All right, so hips up, push away, extend your arms out. And then bring yourself back to that starting position. So this should be working your, uh, working your core as well. So make sure you're keeping your core nice and tight as we're working through these positions. Using your hands to push away. Head is always off the mat. Keep working it. Hips up, push away with your hands, and bring it straight back. Right, and then we're rolling on our shoulder. When we shrimp, we're kind of pinpointing on one little point on our shoulder. The less things we have dragging on the ground, the faster and easier our shrimps are going to be. So make sure that you're just pivoting on just a small little portion of your shoulder as you're going through. Almost done. All right, so now we're moving on to our triangle hip ups. This is the last exercise, the last minute. You guys are doing good. Let's go. Pop your hips all the way to the ceiling, and we're going to rotate the hips into that triangle position. Same thing, I want you to keep your head off the mat. I want you to keep your head off the mat so you can build that nice, strong neck. Shoot the hips high to the ceiling, shoot the legs high to the ceiling, and then triangle. And go left to right, right to left. Work on both sides. Right? And I want you to rotate those hips as we're working this. And the reason I want you to rotate those hips is that I want you to imagine that as you're shooting this triangle up onto your opponent, you're capturing... That, that leg is going on the back of the neck, and you're locking in that figure four, and you're cutting that angle so that you can scoop their leg and keep them from standing up and slamming you onto the ground. So that creating that little angle with that hip uh, is just that for you to imagine that you're kind of creating that angle so you can scoop that leg, or that so you can transition to an arm bar if you need to. If they start pulling away, you can easily slide and be in that arm bar position. So kind of rotate your hips left to right, get your hips as high as you can to the ceiling, and you should really start feeling this in your core by now. I know I was dying during this time frame, just kind of kicking my legs up. All right, 10 more seconds. We're almost done. Keep it up. Keep popping them up. And you should be able, by your third, fourth, fifth time, you should be able to do these fast and nonstop for that full minute. All right, perfect. Good job, guys. Thank you very much. Great workout. Hope you get a nice sweat on.
If you liked what you saw, if you enjoyed this video series, please like and subscribe. Also, feel free to share it on any of your social media platforms, on Facebook. Uh, and, and also, please leave some comments in the video. Let me know what you think, if uh, I moved too slow or you saw something, something I messed up on or whatever the case may be. But feel free to comment. But I appreciate you guys, man. Take care.